This week you got a handout of environmental cards in English, Miljøkort på norsk. They were the ones that looked like this. It was a four-sided piece of paper. The first two pages are English words and the next two pages are Norwegian words. So we have done this a lot in the classroom when we talked about substantive or noun in English. We would write little little words down like bur and then we'd find mm, where's the table and we put it on the table. Vindu. Where's the window when you put it on the window? So we've done this before. So a little bit harder. You have all the words in English on the first two pages and then you have exactly the same words in Norwegian on the next two. So if you want to make it really hard, you can cut out all the cards and then try to match them and then glue them uh, on the back of each other. I'll show you how to do that afterwards. Or if you think it's a little bit too hard, um, then you can just follow along with what was the first one you cut out on the first on the English page is the first one uh, on the Norwegian page. Um, I will be reading to you the list of English words so that you hear them correctly. A good idea is after I say the word, repeat it back. So you hear that you try to say it the right way. If you need to practice it a bit, just pause the video and try it out a little bit. You can always go back and forth as you want. Okay, so I'll start with the first page. And I'm going to be reading it down like this so that you can follow along with me on the page. So environmental labels for the home English. Pen. Cup, pan, bed, desk, sink, pants, fork, shirt, hat, mug, lid, bag, lamp, Dress, glass, comb, shelf, rug, pot, pajamas, stairs, plant, socks, brush, skirt, Pencil. Next page. Picture. Book. Spoon. Table. Television. Oven. Bowl. Soap. Shower. Backpack, marker, boots, phone, paper, chair, door, refrigerator, plate, jacket, knife, Lunchbox, computer, couch, shoes, towel, closet, sweater. Okay, so I'm going to show you that we can cut them out. So I will just cut out the first one here that I find. So this work might actually take you quite a long time. This could go over a couple days. You could maybe just start by, you know, finding these ones in the house and then the next day trying to find another one. We don't have to finish every work in one day. Take your time. This one says picture. So I will try to find what the Norwegian word for picture is. Hmm. I found it here. Bilde. So I will cut out bilde. Now 
Now, if you want to, you could even color these before you cut them out. It could be nice to, you know, maybe color all of the English words in purple and all the um, Norwegian words in blue or pink or red or green. So that's an idea. So let's say that I did that. Let's say that I had colored, I had decided to color all of my Norwegian words in blue. So I'll just hurry up and color this one a little bit in blue. So Bilda is now in blue. So I have it in a different color. And picture, I will do maybe an orange because it's very different. So instead of having to color out every single one, you can just color the whole page before you start cutting them out. So I will take Bilda and picture and I will find some glue here, some glue. Let's see if this works, if it's not dry out. And I will glue Bilda on the back of picture. And you know what? I found a picture already. Do you see it too? Picture. <laughs> Bye.